Good morning. For the first time in 16 years, there's a new government in New South Wales, with Barry O'Farrell leading the coalition to an historic victory. He's expected to gain up to 68 seats in the lower house. Former Premier Christina Keneally has resigned as leader of the Labor Party. There are reports in that rebels in Libya have regained control of the eastern city of Brega just hours after recapturing Ajdabaya. It was their first significant victory since the launch of the Western-led strikes a week ago. Meanwhile, US President Barack Obama has told Americans that the mission in Libya is succeeding. The Japanese government says it doesn't know when the nuclear crisis will end. The amount of radioactive iodine in the sea near the Fukushima power plant has increased tenfold since Tuesday. It's now more than 1,000 times the legal limit. Inside the plant, workers have found pools of water with radiation levels 10,000 times higher than normal. And England.